Hello, 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 and welcome to another Schoolology lesson, everyone. Today, we're going to take our time and talk about the assignments portion, and we're going to take our time and kind of show what it looks like to create, to work with it. Now, from right, I can tell you is that assignments is pretty much the best way to get students to submit so you can grade, so you can give information back. There is one other area where you can do grading, and that is in discussions. And that is going to be another video, but I want to take some time to really focus on what we can do with the assignments. So I'm going to go to courses, and this time I'm going to go to my practice course, which has helped me miss on how to use Schoolology. And this is really a sample class to help outdo a lot of the things that we're trying to do. In this, I'm going to add a material. You have add folder, add assignment, add test quiz, add discussion, add page, add package. I'm going to add an assignment. And in adding assignment, we want to pay attention to a lot of different things here to help keep us organized and in control with what we're trying to do. We're also going to look at this bandwidth because I want it to move just a wee bit faster so I can do this. So I'm creating an assignment that says groovy, groovy buttons because in this description, I'm going to talk about a lot of different things and you can do a lot with this description. We are going to use Pete the cat to support our understanding of addition and adding practice. So yes, I'm showing you what we're about to do right now. We're going to use Pete the cat. So I am making this for a younger group of kiddos, so I'm going to try to enhance my um, text just a little bit by utilizing these kind of things and kind of making it fun. Um, and then I'm going to go towards an insert media. Insert media is just when you can insert your media from the web or from where your desktop is. Here, I'm attaching a file. I'm showing you this right now. Because in this file, I'm going to just do a picture to help support the learning. I'm going to my pictures file. And I have Pete the cat here as a JPEG. So I'm able to insert a picture right here, if you see going down we're able to do that and I'm going to say isn't this groovy we have a cool book to help us understand how Pete the cat is working with his groovy buttons so I'm using this to just introduce, and then here we go to insert content. I'm going back to media, and I'm looking this time, and I'm going to go from the web. Here, instead of going image, I'm going to go media. And what I have here is a YouTube video that supports... So... I have a video that I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and copy this link here, and I'm going to paste it here. So once again, in this media piece, I still have more information. And then we have that to help us. Now, I have the video, which is underneath this button here. And after it, I'm going to say, please watch the video and comment below we have a worksheet attached so you can do your own counting here I am going to attach, this is a file, so I have the opportunity to attach a file. I have a PDF document in my downloads. So I'm going to go to downloads, and it's Pete the Cat button. So I am attaching that as a download. If I wanted to do a link, I can also use an embedded link saying addition practice.
and I can go to a regular practice adding and I can go to any type of link here and just do a um, quick little math game. I'm going to do that here and add that link here to help support that. So I can do those things to help support. So these are all things to help build a lesson. So it's just not the regular um, just notes in here. You really want to build these robust lessons. This is what I'm looking at now. I have a due date for today. Today's the 22nd. I want my students to be able to have this done by the 24th. I want them to have it done at the 24th and then I come over here and I'm going to physically have to put in what time I want it done. Okay, so I don't know why my time is not working right now. I use the arrow buttons, I'm sorry. So you can go to the arrow buttons and you can move it up and down and use your arrow buttons. This is the points. I'm going to do this out of 100 points and I'm going to have this done in my classroom assignments. I'm doing it for period two. I'm doing the factor. I'm doing numeric in this case. I'm aligning it to my objectives. My objective at this time is counting. So I can type that in. Make sure that you're going to your correct objective. Um, this is a little bit time consuming. So I am going to go to, um, where are we? Dance relate map. We're going to go to DA is dance. Here's M. K through 12, so that's a basic one. You want to find the one that's aligned to your actual content. Um, I'm going to go count to 20 while reading number books. So we have this information here for our basic set. And then down here is where we want to understand. Individually assign. If I wanted to individually assign this to students, students, I can type in the information right here and I can individually assign to those students. So that's great for special ed modifications and those things. I am not going to individually assign. I am going to maximum assign. I don't know how to change that. I'll fix it. Lock. If I wanted to lock the assignment, which means that at this time it's unlocked, but lock the assignment means when do I lock it so students can't do it anymore. I have submissions enabled. We always want to do submissions because that's how students turn it in. Publish to students is automatic, which you want to do. Grade statistics disabled. We want them enabled, and that's important for later. And comments enabled so we can talk to students. And then we can copy this courses. So this is the information that we really want to do. I have now created my assignment. So this is what it looks like overall. This is, here it is, here is the information, here is the addition practice, and then there's comments where students can put their comments in. And all of this is here to where now it shows who's received this and what the students need to do and all of this here so we can start looking at grades in that purpose. This is a basic upload for assignments. What you will also notice, and I'm not sure if it's going to show in mine, but I'm going to go to my basic one to find out. You should now have a calendar where up here you see the due date of groovy groovy buttons as well as when your students log in they will see the due date of when that needs to happen this is the basics of assigning basically assignments and being able to build that and create that in the classroom for schoolology so we're being very consistent thank you thank you thank you so much for coming and checking this out I am hopeful that this helps you out, and then I'm going to do a follow-up video. So please, please, please check and tag along on how to do the graded submission portions in Schoolology for the discussions. All right, see you next time.